Hey guys, uh, well I decided to do a part two uh, to my forcing a patina video. Uh, a lot of interest in it and uh, some more stuff I want to talk about and something else I want to experiment with. Um, first thing is a lot of people have been asking me, you know, what kind of knife can I can I try this on? I'd like to try this, but <clears throat> you know, I only have um, stainless steel blades. Uh, and in fact, a lot of cheap stainless, or excuse me, a, a lot of cheap knives um, usually are done in stainless steel. Uh, almost all the knives you see coming from China um, all done in stainless steel, and it's hard. It's kind of hard to find a cheap knife that's in carbon steel. Uh, but I want to show you these. I did do a video on these. These are Frost Moros uh, of Sweden. You can get these for ten dollars on average, um, brand new, and they do make these in carbon steel. So this would be a good uh, good thing to try this on if you wanted to. And even if the weather doesn't really matter how it comes out, these are <clears throat> these are great knives for the money either way. I do a full video on these, but this happens to be in a carbon steel. And I'm actually going to try. Um, I'm going to try my own uh, a, another patina uh, on the on this knife here. I'm going to try to do the tiger striping, as I was saying before, and that's why I have uh, I have this here. This is uh, just a cheap uh, like concert um, badge thing, you know, to put around your neck. It's got a cheap cheap snap on it, and um, it's kind of like an ID holder. You just clip this to your your ID. Uh, case that clear case and then your ID. Uh, I, I you know I don't remember where I got this from, but I saved it um, in case I ever need to use it. And I actually want to use this this uh, material here, this cord, because it's kind of flat. I'm going to use that. I'm going to soak that in vinegar and wrap that around my my blade here to kind of test out doing a pattern. Okay, because I don't know a lot of interest was in that too. People like the patinas, but they kind of want something something different, something with a pattern that might look cool. Um, so I'm actually going to take this uh, Victorinox here and just cut this so I just have the, uh, the material. I'm just going to do that for you real quick here. I just have the material here. I can slide this out. That's why all the, all the hardware is uh, separate. So now I have this nice long piece of flat cord. Okay, so I can wrap this blade up after I soak this in vinegar. So I can see what that's going to be like um, as far as doing a pattern. So later in this video, I'll show you how that came out. Uh, but also, I want to show you here. This is another carbon steel model. This is actually um, a naturally formed patina. Um, it's somewhat on the rusty side. This does have to be cleaned. However, I just want to show you. I mean, I did nothing with this knife. I actually use this knife a lot for wood carving um, and things like that. And I never really did much with it. Uh, kind of an experiment on the carbon steel blades, but you can see how that could just naturally kind of coming in. Um, it is kind of rusty. However, if I wipe this out and clean it really well, it would take kind of the brown away, and you just have that gray color. But I just want to show you that it's kind of the beginnings of the uh, natural uh, patina coming in. Now you can see it slightly in this one here. Some of the parts on the tip there, it's starting to come in just a little bit. Again, this one has been used not nearly as much as this one, though. You can see the difference. Um, and I have wiped this one down, you know, after use too. But I just want to, like I said, make a part two here and, and show you that. Uh, I'll come back with you in a, in about an hour or so when this is done. And I'll show you how they came out. Alright guys, well it's been uh, exactly an hour uh, after sitting in the solution with the um, that nylon strand just uh, wrapped around it. And uh, here is the results. Not too shabby. Uh, as you see here, you definitely have a, you know, striping pattern. Uh, on the back, it was a little more secure, a little tighter, so you have uh, little tighter strips on there. But, it, you know, it's, it's hard to, to see this on camera as opposed to in person. Uh, it's so much nicer in person, although you can kind of pick up generally what it is by viewing this. Uh, some notes, I don't know if I mentioned it in the first uh, video. Uh, when you're doing this, when you're done doing this process, you need to clean the blade, you need to scrub it with some soap and water, and then dry it thoroughly. Um, some questions I had on this is, one, is it rough? No, it's actually very smooth. I mean, once you scrub it and clean it, it's not as smooth as when it's, um, you know, high polish, but it's definitely smooth to touch. It's not rough whatsoever. And another question I had was, will it rub off on my food if I want to cut food? And the answer is no. And if you watch my food video, I can attest to that. <laughs> But uh, overall, just a different way of doing it, uh, having some kind of pattern. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, you know what, let me grab my jeweler's loop. Actually, I have it right here. 
I'm bringing it real close. Let's look at the finish up close here. If I can get get it focused for you. You can see there some of the circles. That's where maybe there was some uh, air bubbles. So you can kind of see that closer detail. Let's try the other side. As you can see, it's just a gray in color. Uh, again, certain certain things like potatoes will give it a slight coloration, like a blue. Uh, you just have to experiment with it. But uh, anyway, that's what it looks like. Uh, like I said, something different. If you do want to go with uh, something like this, uh, gives it you know different character. If that's what you like. Do it like this. And again, these more knives are definitely cheap enough to uh, to practice with this. Uh, like I say, if you, even if it comes out and you totally don't like it at, at all, you can still, you know, beat the crap out of the knife. and <laughs> You're only out 10 bucks. It's still a great user either way. Uh, something also I want to mention is that when you do this, this is a, um, a form of corrosion. So it will dull your edge slightly. Okay, you want to restrop that. But and, let me grab a piece of paper real quick for you. And showing that, um, you know, once you, once you restrop it, uh, your edge is right back and you still have that amazing, amazing more edge. Like the knife came new. But you know what? This is something to consider. Because if you don't have uh, any form of sharpening your knife, you might want to hold off on this. Because you do need to restrop it. It will dull your edge slightly. So if you want that original super sharp edge, um, like I said, you might want to hold off until you have some way of uh, sharpening your knives. Or until you get a, a strop. But anyway, so like I said, I wanted to show you that. Just a different form of doing it. If you want to do some kind of pattern, you can get very imaginative. You can come up with all kinds of stuff. Another good thing you can do, uh, instead of doing a wrap like I did, you can get some tape. And, you know, any tape you have, um, masking tape would probably work best. And tape off a design, and then wrap the whole thing. That way you have a very distinct look. So, anyway, I just want to show you that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I thank you again for watching. Take care.